Hello, and this is the tutorial on how to remote access to your PC using ConnectWise Screen Control. So basically this tool or this software will be used to remote in from another laptop or PC to your home PC so you can do your work. So first you need to access your browser, whether that be Google Chrome, Firefox, or anything of that nature you need to go to the search bar and type in home at connectwise.com. This should bring you to the login screen for ConnectWise Home. If you don't already have credentials, please contact the IT department and we will get you squared away. Once you have those credentials, you wanna click sign in with ConnectWise. Here's where you'll type those credentials in and click login. So once you're done loading, you will come to a home screen and basically it would be the interface for ConnectWise Home. The main thing you wanna be looking for is My ConnectWise Hub and look for Control and click the Launch button. Uh, you'll see the login screen there on your first time. You have to type in those same credentials you use to get into ConnectWise Home. Um, and after that, you should be redirected every single time after that. So to get you familiar with this home screen here for screen control, uh, you wanna see this access button. If you see anything else besides access, please contact IT and we will get you squared away. In this column here under access, this is your PC. You will only see one PC and it will be yours. Um, in this column here, this will basically show your PC name, who's remoting into it, which would be you and the user that will be logged into it, which will also be you. And then this last column over here is your PC name, the company you work for, and this is just a screen capture of what your current desktop looks like on that PC you're remoting into. Um, you'll see the same thing here in the general tab. You'll see the text and specs for all of your PC needs. Once you go back here to start, you want to click the join button and this will redirect you to what your PC looks like that you're remoting into. So you can go into full screen here and this will be both of your monitors. If you have two monitors, if not, you will only see one. You can also change how this looks. So when you hover your mouse at the top, you'll see these options at the top. So you want to mainly focus on the view button and you want to focus on the essentials. So for the view, if you only want to see one monitor, you can select which one you want by doing so here. Or if you want to see both monitors at the same time, you want to click all and it gets kind of small, but it's based on personal preference. Uh, so, and you can also change the quality of how your screen looks. Obviously you want it on high, but if your PC is running slow, you kind of want to move that down. You can also change the zoom on how close it is to your monitor. Uh, for demonstration purposes, we'll go with the left monitor. And then you can continue work as normal here. Otherwise, when you are logging in, you're going to need this essentials tab and you're gonna click send control alt delete. And this is for when you're logging in, as I mentioned before. Basically, if you try to do control alt delete on your PC that you're remoting from, it's going to send you into a menu where you can lock your screen, switch user, sign out, change password, or task manager. You don't want that because it's not actually remoting into your PC and putting in that command so you can log in. So this is how you access it. Once again, you're gonna hover your mouse up at the top, go over to the lightning bolt where it says essentials and then click send control alt delete. If you have any other questions about ConnectWise screen control, please contact the IT department and we will get you squared away.